Okay, starting off turn number five with Arjun. I feel a bit discombobulated this game. I've had to go back to the video twice now to make sure I was doing things correctly, and I did. I did deduct the point, taking her from four to three, so that was done correctly. So Arjun, it's his turn, and uh, so let's think about what we want to do. We'd like to get him exploring again. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So Arjun has a movement speed of 5, so he can go 1, 2, 3, so he still has movement left over. And then he can use Trapping Strike to pull down one of these monsters and attack it. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So he's going to move, uh, you know, however you want to count it. He can go 1, 2, 3, 4. He can go corner to corner, so he can go 1, 2, 3. It doesn't matter. He's got the speed, the point is. So he's going to move down here. And then use Trapping Strike to cho uh, choose a monster within one tile of you, place it adjacent to your hero, and attack it. So since Arjun has to roll, we're going to attack the, the monster with the lowest AC, because that'll give us a slightly better chance of hitting it. So the skeleton's AC is 16, so we'll choose the wolf with our Trapping Strike, pull it down next to us, and attack it with the plus 8. Yeah. And is there anything else that we want to consider before we absolutely commit to this? And definitely not those. Um, and not that. And what are these again? Um, so we get... So this is probably never going to do anything. So we're just going to use a Trapping Strike with a plus eight. So we just need to roll a six or higher. Seven? Wow, we just barely made that so 7 plus 8 is 15 and that is gonna hit the wolf so that was a really good call if we hit this if we targeted the skeleton we would have missed so we'll place that into our experience pile so we now have two sets of five experience so we can cancel two encounters take the wolf off the board and Arjun will draw a treasure card and it's going to be Glimpse of the Future, play immediately, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, put them back in the order. So I'm just going to place that right here for just a second and update the turn tracker. So Arjun did not need a surge. He did move, he did attack, he did get treasure, and he will be exploring. He did kill the wolf. Uh, but let's go ahead and deal with this treasure now. So... Look at the top three of the encounter, put it back in any order. All right, so this just goes away. It's not an item, so it can't count towards our 12. So let's get out three encounters, and we'll put them back in descending order of pain. <laughs> so there's our three. So we get Icy Corridor attacks each hero on the active hero's tile. Okay, it hit or miss, it does damage. Environment. These sometimes suck just because they're hard to keep track of or hard to remember to play them. Whenever a hero would place a new monster, that hero draws two monsters. Okay, yeah, I know what that one does. So every time you draw a monster, you draw twice. And um, you basically put out the one that's the more difficult to kill. And then this one is each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. Um, that's probably the least painful at the moment, I'm thinking. Maybe? Mm, not 100% sure. We'll place this one down last. So it's the last one we draw. It's a bit of a debate between these two. Let's, because I'm probably going to cancel this one. Let's put it down. It's debatable what I'll do with that one, but I'll put it down. So we know we're going to draw this, and we're probably going to draw it right now because Arjun's uh, hero phase is ending. He is on an unexplored edge. So he is going to explore right now, and it's a white tile, actually, so we're not going to get that encounter at the moment. But we will have to move our sun tracker forward. So what are we, about halfway there? So let's get our wording correctly. So we got a white tile. We do still draw a monster. And another blazing skeleton. Ugh. I hate these things, but at least we have our precise strike, so we can probably kill it again. So we got a blazing skeleton. 
No Encounter, and Blazing Skeleton. So since there's no encounter, the Blazing Skeleton activates, and basically it's just going to attack everybody on Arjun's tile, but that's just him. Hit or miss, it does damage, and it attacks with a plus 7. So we need to roll a 9 or lower for it to miss Arjun. And that is a 9 or lower, so it will miss Arjun. But still takes some uh, side effect damage somehow. That's going to bring him down to 6. Okay, so that ends Arjun's turn number 5. Now we begin with Alyssa on her turn number 5. And she is slowed, so her options are a tiny bit limited. In fact, I don't even know if she's going to be able to explore this turn. It doesn't look like it. Because, uh, one, two, no, she's not going to be able to. That stinks. But she, she, we're going to have her just ping the skeleton. It's right there. So it's going to go down. Place it onto the table. And two experience, and we'll start a third pile of five experience. So we've got five, five, and now we're starting another one. So that's good that we're not burning through our experience. And she will get a treasure for taking down the skeleton. And finally, we get an item. So you can use it instead of attacking and uh, choose an undead and splash it. So, all right. So we'll go ahead and give that to her. So let's see. We've got two, three, four, five, six. So we have six treasures so far. We need six more. All right, so let's update for Alyssa. She did not need a surge. She has not moved. She did attack. She got treasure. Now, what is she going to do for her movement? Um, unfortunately, that doesn't count as an unexplored edge. She can go one, two. Hmm. I guess we'll just have her move here so that will be her movement and the end of her hero phase, so this load goes away. So she moved, she did not explore, so since she did not explore, there is no new tile, there is no new monster, the slow wears off, we do have an encounter, um, skeleton's gone, and yeah, alright, so let's go see what this encounter is. I think this is the overrun. Each hero takes damage equal yeah, to the number. So in this case, we're just going to let it play. It's not worth canceling because we're going to burn through five experience to just uh, one damage. And right now, um, Arjun's the only one that has a monster. So in this case, it worked out, I guess, that she couldn't explore. All right, so Arjun takes one damage from the overrun, so he goes down to five, and that is the end of Alyssa's villain phase since she doesn't have any monsters out, so that's going to be the end of turn number five.